you can probably uh, tell right now, I am sitting up in a tree. And I was just thinking about how when I was younger, I used to go out and sit in a tree like the one we're actually looking at right now. And I would just sit and be quiet and listen to the noises of nature around me. And on a quiet day around here, I actually found that I could hear things like the highway that is about two or three miles from my house. And I mean, seriously, when you're being quiet, you're not listening to other people, you're not listening to things, you're not listening to, uh, you know, all the chaos and stuff that's going on around us. I really found that I could hear so much more clearly when I was just being quiet. You know, and that's the truth of being quiet when you're in the Lord's presence is, you know, it's not always about um, talking to Him. And, you know, that's good. We need to talk to Him. He He's ready to listen to us. But I, I've really found that I get so much more when I'm just listening and being still and being quiet. And, you know, that's why the psalmist says to be still and know that I am God. Because when you're racing around, you know, doing and doing and doing and being and being all things to all people, there's not enough time to be still. There's not enough time to listen and be quiet. And I think really that's the thought for the day is to be still, to take time away from the chaos and the craziness. And, you know, there's a lot of craziness going around in the world right now. But if we will just be still and know that he's God, we'll find that we have so much peace in our life that we can hear things that we'd never hear. We'll, we'll hear that still small whisper of the voice of, of God in our in our lives. And uh, so that's, that's the thought for the day.